Hey guys. <laughs> so I'm squinting. A little, a little sunny bit out here. of a different location for our intro video. We're right across the street from Seth's work and he just got off his shift. Yeah. And I was already there working on actually editing this video. What? So we just thought we'd make this here. But yeah, it's been two weeks since our last video. As you guys know, it's been a crazy last two weeks. Well, first of all, Seth, you returned to full-time work. Yeah, regulations were lifted for um, the quarantine. I was able and fortunate to go back to work and work full-time. And so that's why um, a little bit of the RV stuff is kind of put on the back burner because we were brand new opening. I did mention that Seth works at a coffee shop that just opened up here in downtown Sacramento. So yeah. come check them out. Yeah, Morgan, Morgan Smell. Smell. Morgan Smell Sack. Uh, so yeah, that's yeah. one reason why we haven't yeah. been working, but on top of that, uh, we're going through some crazy times here in the world. Um, we are with the Black Lives Matter movement. You know, we have love for, for the black community and uh, we're out there. Oh. Hey, you can show them. <laughs> Light rail going by. Sorry, it's just a train. Yeah, so we actually went to a protest and then so I needed to take like a total break from like all social media technology so i i needed to kind of get my own headspace and process what was happening so i hadn't really been working on the rv at all while seth was working and um it's challenging so hmm. we just have been taking it slowly but i miss i miss kind of working towards it and it is nice to say hello to any of you who are watching yeah yeah um so don't forget if you like our videos and you want to continue watching our video you should smash that subscribe, that subscribe button. button what's up guys i feel like it's been forever we really haven't been working at all this week thank god i sense a tremendous difference in our attitudes honestly we're much happier when we're not working like every single day we're much much happier but that being said, we couldn't just not do any work this week. Hi, Seth. Hey. What are we doing today, babe? So all we're doing is wood putting the walls to make them even with the patches that we put on the wall. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. So obviously it's not leveled because, you know, we put this on top of the wall. So to level it, we're just going to stick down some putty. We have some leftover from when we compounded uh, between the seams and the ceiling that we're gonna use. But if that run runs out, I also have a tub of wood putty. First layer, a little patching up, not too much work to be done. So just all the little corners. So finishing touches right here, this corner. Yeah, and we will have to sand it. We didn't sand the seaming on the ceiling yet because we want to be able to sand everything all at once because it's be really messy. It's going to be a lot of wood debris and shavings everywhere. So we don't want to do that more than once. We want to do it at one time. So that means we've got to putty everything we need to on the walls first. What's up, YouTube? YouTube. So Paula's up here today in Sacramento, and he is was set cutting out the thin ply plywood that we're going to use to cover this disaster over here. All right. So we've got this piece finally up. There are some gaps which we'll just seam with more sorry cover with compound like we did on the other side and this piece actually fit perfectly doesn't it look like it's meant to go there we just kind of pushed it under this little lip so it's nice and secure even the bottom is almost almost perfect it'll be covered up because this is actually where our bed is gonna go so the mattress will cover this up and so I think what I'm gonna do is 
glue and nail this one in place and then putty in the seams. was a little bit harder to attach with just some nails. And so what I did is I uh, put wood glue on the other side of the surface, on the other side of this, and then I'm just screwing, I screwed three up there, so this is my fourth one that, which should secure it, but just to secure it in place. All right, just took about an hour of my time to do some meticulous compounding slash molding slash speckling and let me show you guys what I did. All these uh, little white spots on the walls are where holes used to be or some minor chipping. Can you believe that there were that many holes? Yeah and there's a lot more too. Holes along the top but the trim will continue and so some of that will hide it and there's a lot of holes behind where we plan to put new installed fixtures. We're gonna build a cabinet right here. And then there's a whole bunch of holes in this section, but this will be all paneled um, with some material for the shower. I also went ahead and spackled every single hole I found on the ceiling. Hello guys, it's really hot today. Um, but the job is not labor intensive. We're sanding today with an electric sander, which is amazing. And then we're also just gonna go around and clean with a shop vac that we bought today. to this channel, you will remember the first appearance of the bread knife. Let's remind you here. Take the pipes off. And they're not coming off. It's back. Hi, Seth. They haven't seen you. They haven't seen me. Hey, guys. He's a working man now. Just putting in the, uh, turn, the, uh, hose for the... He's setting up the vacuum. Vacuum, yeah, sorry piece of the of the wood that Seth ripped off from this um, but it's going to pose an issue when we paint so we can't find our box cutter so I'm just going to kind of go through with the bread knife again and just cut this off and make sure the edges are clean. All right guys we're just working on sanding down the walls and the ceiling. I'm sure, sure we've already mentioned that but as is doing the walls I'm going to be doing the ceilings. And we're getting there, we're almost done. It looks really good in there. And I'm also just saying hey, because I haven't said hey yet to the camera. Uh, you can see how dusty it is in here. Get it, girl! Enter Sandman. I was saying enter Sandman. Get it. Hey, buddy! Uh, what? It's him! Let's go get an extension cord to try to reach from our apartment to like, uh, like through this alley out to the street. Uh, still didn't reach for the electric sander. So we're just doing stuff um, in place of that. So I'm gonna be cutting the last piece of the ceiling that was next to the bathroom that we haven't done yet. It wasn't originally what we planned to do, but still gotta be productive on my day off of work and trying to stay positive. Um, it's a really weird piece. I'm hoping I can do it right because I think I only have enough beadboard to do one at once. So, half a day to be honest, it is taking a lot out of me just to kind of put myself back in working mode. I was so go, 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 and now I'm just like lazy, lethargic piece of shit. Seth is working on. This piece right there. Oh, there he is. Hey. And I'm just attending to things I haven't really been thinking about. So I've been working on the bathroom. I swept it out. 
Oops. And I'm trying to get the toilet out. Okay, so the toilet is just a tiny bit difficult because the main thing that's attaching it to the floor is behind the flush pump. There is a, um, I'm not sure if you can see. It's a little bolt in there. I think you can see it. So in order to access that, I had to push the pump down, which requires a little bit of strength. So I've just been kind of like trying to push it down and then um, loosening the bolt and just, it's gonna take a little bit of time and patience. I got it out. So let's see if we can actually pull this guy up. Feels, feels a little bit attached to something. So I found out why it's still not pulling up. There is one bolt deep in there and like I can't access it easily. So the only way I've been able to kind of work at it is, it, it, is if I sit on it, kind of like reach back into the corner. It's horrible. Just need to get it loose enough so that I can start turning it with my fingers when I'm having a really hard time. Sometimes I just treat these situations as a matter of life or death. Like I want to give up, but if I give up, then it's my life on the line. Sometimes I pretend like I get a reward if I make it through. Like a reward I know is impossible. Like if I finish this, my grandfather, my deceased grandfather will be on the other side. It's kind of what keeps me going. I got it, I got it. Ah. Yeah, baby, I fucking took the toilet out. I can do anything. I can do anything. Woo, how scary looking. So these are the two bolts still. That's so gross. I honestly should be wearing gloves, but I'm going to rip this carpet out so that I can clean this up and, you know, prepare this bathroom to also be um, sanded, primed, and possibly paint. Uh, we've talked about having wallpaper in here. I don't know yet. We haven't really focused on this room. And we'll see you guys next week and hopefully we'll get some more work done this week. Yeah, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next week for sure. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Peace.